Crystallization is a technique which chemists use to purify solid compounds. It's also known as based on the principle of solubility. Compounds tend to be more soluble in hot liquids than they are in cold liquids. In this video, I'm going to concentrate on the formation of solid crystal from liquid solution. The first step in this experiment, we need to put 3 cups of sugar into a pot. Next, add a cup of water in the same pot. Then, place the pot on the stove and ready to heat the solution. Stir the solution when the solution is getting to boil. When you heat the solution, you are increasing the temperature of it. The temperature up, the particles are moving much faster, meaning more the sugar will be dissolved at this temperature. Get 3 cups and divide the solution evenly. Next, don't forget to put a few drops of food coloring. Dip a stick into a glass of water and then roll the stick with the sugar. Put aside and let it dry for a while and followed by the other two sticks. The higher temperature can cause more sugar to dissolve in water. In the other words, the dynamic equilibrium is affected by a change in temperature. If we increase the temperature, we increase the dissolving process and if we reduce the temperature, we decrease the dissolving process. Crystal will form when the solution is cool. A decrease in temperature can cause a system to generate energy in an attempt to bring the temperature up. Because the formation of chemical bonds always release energy, more sucrose molecules will join the crystal in an attempt to increase the temperature. This explains why crystals form when the temperature decreases. Crystal growth is a major stage of a crystallization process and consists in the addition of new atoms, ion, or polymer, strings into the characteristic arrangement of the crystalline. The nucleation process is totally important in crystallization. If the nucleus of a crystal will determine the structure of the entire crystal. It can be operated at lower temperature and with lower energy requirements, more economic, producing a solid phase which may be switchable for direct packaging and sale. This advantages is only purifies one component and process kinetics are more complex. 
The conclusion, as the temperature decreases, the sugar comes out of the solution, forming crystal. The lower the temperature, the more molecules join the sugar crystals, and that is how rock candy is created.